first thing that you always have to do, um, very, 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 very first thing. This is super, super important. Make sure you make sure you listen to this. Register your copyrights, your trademarks, and your patents. A lot of times, producers and artists create their. You basically have a copyright, like we talked about. Once it's in a fixed form, they create these great these great projects. They create these great ideas, these great loops, these great kits, uh, beats, songs, all of these different things. But the one thing that they fail to do, they fail to register their copyright. They fail to register their trademark. So what happens is when you go out there and you see someone is infringing on your intellectual property at this point, say they put your stuff, they see it's great, they take it, they put it in Walmart. And now you're like, hey, that's my logo. Hey, they put my producer tag, the, the words from my producer tag on a hoodie, they're selling it. Oh, that's my song playing in Forever 21. That's my song playing in uh, Nordstrom's. That's my song playing in h and But you fail to register your copyright or your trademark. What happens is you're not able to actually file a claim until you figure out whether or not you have a registered trademark. Also, when you register your intellectual property in the beginning, if someone was to come in and take your intellectual property, what happens at that point is there are statutory damages that you as a producer, you as an artist, and you as the owner of a copyright can, can receive from every time that person do it. So if they do it a thousand times, there's a fee within the law that says X amount of dollars per time they do it. However, those fees and those damages don't apply if you don't register your trademark. So what you have to always do in your copyright, what you have to always do and what you have to always consider and make sure is, one, you make a beat, say you make a bet, say you make three or four beats a day, um, which is very, very commendable. You make three or four beats a day or you make two beats a day, right? Monday through Friday. So you have 10 beats a week. Boom, that's 40 beats a month. Boom, that's 480 beats a year. What happens is you can you can copyright a batch of beats at one time. So you may be able to copyright a certain amount of beats. The best thing that you could do is go in and we'll provide some more information as to how we're going to work with all of our community to make sure that they're able to copyright things. Um, but you just register all of your stuff at the same time that you worked on. So by the time that you put it out, you already have your copyrights, you're the registered owner of your copyrights, and you own that intellectual property.